level one here is the video review for transformers revenge of the fallen scout class dirt boss um as you can see this is his fork forklift truck mode i didn't get this guy off the internet all the revenge of the fallen toys are now actually out in the uk um in your tesco stores i don't know about any other ones but all i know is my local tesco had loads of the revenge of the fallen stuff uh they had the leaders except for Jetfire, the voyagers up to ironhide um all the scouts and all the deluxes in wave one and also the gravity bots which i really don't care about and they had the legends as well um but yeah this one's dirt boss i got him today along with uh, detour um and just to show you a couple of days ago my little granddad got me this uh, legends jet fire uh, yesterday sorry when they come out um but as you can see, he's like a green forklift truck. Now, this guy's based on the um, dirt boss that was in the Transformers 2007 video game. Except he's in a slightly different colour and he doesn't have the drone head. But everything else is the same. This is little forklift mode. Uh, this can go like that and the prongs can move down and up like that. The Decepticon symbol there rolls pretty nicely. Um, it's fairly cool. I really like this little guy. It's an awesome little mode very small though but very cool and a couple of size comparisons here is with uh, leader uh, leader legends jetfire and scout detour so he's a fairly small scout um but very cool one nonetheless um just take a quick look at the packaging here dirt boss decepticon Transformers.com, Scout, sorry about that, that's just like that for some reason. Um, there we go. Picture of his robot and uh, vehicle mode there. Um, it says, Dirt Boss constantly schemes to discredit his competitors and acquire power by taking their positions. Transformers.com, Dirt Boss, Decepticon, DreamWorks, and all that rubbish. Um, so that's the packaging. Now, for this little guy's transformation, if I just move the box back a bit, so I can move this guy back. And um, what you want to do, pull these pieces down here, and then pull them down even further, like that. And uh, then you can flip out the little feet here, like that. And then you want to split everything here, it'll just fold to the side like that. Next, you want to bring this piece up backwards and then it will all fold up on his back to make a little backpack um, then this piece here will slide up revealing his head you want to push these pieces back flip down the arms flip up the prongs and then flip them back then it's just a case of uh, posing him how you like which you can do in many different ways because of his articulation and they have Scout Class Revenge of the Fallen Dirt Boss in robot mode. Very reminiscent of the game last year. Um, except, like I said, the head. Uh, you can even do the little attack pose that Dirt Boss did in the game where he goes like that. Um, I think that's on the first level where they're marching and all of a sudden he stops and goes... Um, very cool. The head on him is pretty cool though. It's kind of like one of the Energon Constructicon heads. Um, just a bit smaller. Uh, the only thing I don't like with this figure is this paint that they used on the thing. It looks a bit cheap, um, especially on what it's not paint. It's obviously how they've moulded it. But on the box, it shows that this bit should be all black and this bit should be green. Only this bit. Um, but instead, they've made the whole thing yellow and it does look a bit cheap, really. Um, but it's very cool, nonetheless. I like the way all the backpack folds up here. Um, very cool little transformer there. Um definitely one of the best scouts he, uh, this guy um, is probably the best in wave 1 that's probably just a matter of opinion but I think out of looks he looks the best um, but yeah Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Dirt Boss thanks for watching and please subscribe